T-shirts, tattoo, I uh, work at Youngbloods and my style is pretty much whatever. Like realism mainly, new school, a bit of everything really. So yeah, whatever I'm, whatever I'm feeling at the time is what I'm doing, so yeah. A Banksy tattoo. Um, it was the one of the guy throwing the Molotov with the bunch of flowers. I did that on my mate. Uh, for a tattoo that should have taken an hour, it took me about six hours. I was shitting myself. I don't think I would have done it unless I got pushed into it. Um, yeah, that was it. It got, it got really badly infected. Half of it fell out. Um, yeah, not, not, a, not a great experience. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's all right now. It's all right, it come good. We touched it up and yeah, she's all, she's all sweet, so yeah. I tattooed today. Um, yeah, I did a big back piece today. Um, realism, kind of a, the guy who I'm tattooing actually came up with it himself. Um, it's a cover up. So it's like a standard owl up on the top with the girl's face down the bottom, bit of geometric stuff going on in the face, um, that sort of thing. So second session today, um, I think we've got another two, two to go. It should be, should be done. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, tattoos I probably want to do more than any would be Probably, neat, probably new school, I'd say. Um, the crazier, the better. Like, I'm generally like tattooing like little crazy forest creatures and things riding skateboards or whatever. Like, just something crazy, bright, exaggerated, weird. That's probably what I would want to tattoo more than anything if I had, if I had the choice all day, every day. That'd be it. So, yeah. My uh, favourite tattoo artist would probably be Matt Curzon. Um, I like Chris Regoni's stuff as well. I think Chris Regoni's mad. I like his style, I like what he's done. Um, that, that would probably be really it who I sort of consider my favourites. I mean, I like a lot of new school guys like Jamie Riz and e even Jesse Smith, more, more of his old stuff than his newer stuff. but. Um, with those kind of guys, there's graffiti artists as well out there that I think are really cool. But generally, in that sort of that sort of realm of the new school, exaggerated kind of kind of comic, uh, not comic but cartoony sort of style, I like. But I think probably my favourite would definitely be Matt. Um, I just think it's wall to wall, like solid colour, good neo trad. It's simple. It's effective. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Crazy. So, yeah, probably him. Probably him and Chris, I reckon, would definitely be the guys I sort of think are killing it at the moment. He's got a bit of spare time on his hands and feet. Yeah, yeah, it's bonsais, apparently. <laughs> yeah. As far as the band goes, I think where there's a will, there's a way. I think there'll be. I think if it becomes something that's affecting the majority, I think it'll definitely be, there'll be ways around it. I think companies will either supply raw ingredients and it'll be a mix your own type deal, or, I mean, where there's a will, there's a way. You know, like, people will find a way around it. You know, so whether it means that somebody will manufacture it locally and then, yeah, I just, I just think it's one of those things that'll probably be a big deal for a, a year or two and then it'll just be relaxed. So, yeah, I just think that if it, I think the ones that'll be affected most will be the colour companies. But like I said, I think they'll find a way that they can supply you a colour in a different form where you might need to mix it yourself, you know, but they'll give you all the raw ingredients, whether that comes in the same shipment or two different shipments, you know, whatever. But I think there'll be a way around it if it becomes set in stone as law, you know. At the moment, um, it's podcasts more than anything. Um, but if it's music-wise, it'd be it'd be punk all day, every day. So 
no effects, teenage bottle rocket, strung out, uh, 90s, 90s punk. So yeah, but podcast mainly at the moment, comedians, um, Theo Vaughn, Joey Diaz, Bert Kreischer, that sort of, that sort of deal. Are there like um, sets or is it still like just them chatting about life? Storytellers, like they're, they do have other people, they've got other people on the, on the podcast, but they're mainly just, mainly just storytellers, so just comedians that have good backstories basically, so. I don't know, anything that's funny really, you know? Subway, I had a Subway, footlong. Um, <laughs> yeah, ham footlong from Subway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, um, I had my, my boy had something on down in, down in Mandra, so it was just easy to pick something up on the way home and yeah, Subway. I don't take much very serious at all, um, but I guess if you know me, you know that already. Um, surfed forever, skated forever. Um, that's really about it, man. Like everything I've got's kind of out on the table. So you know, most people, if they ask, they find out. So yeah, you know, there's not really much that, not really much to tell that's that interesting, really. So. Yeah. <laughs> I had a crate of dildos crush me when I was a kid, so <laughs> that's something. But again, you know, a lot of people know that story. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? Is that, is that why you limp? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's how I busted my Achilles last year. Nah, um, yeah, nah, but, yeah, there's not much really to know. Like, <laughs> not putting, cutting that out. Nah, good, keep it in, keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> Crushed by a crate of dildos. <laughs> Luckily they went electric. <laughs> oh, back, back then, bro, it was probably fucking wooden rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cow time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I wouldn't give myself any advice at all. I think everything I've done has led to the point in where I am, and I'm pretty content with where I am. I think I've got, I've got it pretty good. Um, I'm a big believer in that you just, you forge your own path. So what you do determines your outcome. So I don't think I've done anything too stupid in my time. And if I have, it's still led me to this point. Um, so I don't think I would, I don't think I would really have any advice. Um, yeah, my young self wouldn't have listened um, anyway. So yeah, I don't. I think I'm in a good position now, and I really don't want anything else. So I think I'm. I think I'm where I'm supposed to be. So yeah.